ACAO defines security culture as a set of norms, beliefs, values and attitudes that are embedded in the daily operation of an organisation. The ACID tests for me that the presence of an effective security culture should be apparent in the day-to-day -day actions and behaviours of everyone within that organisation, reflecting that security should be everyone's responsibility from the top down. So a security culture is one in which all employees understand and accept that they are responsible for security, and security issues are included in the decision-making from the outset. A culture of security is one where the actions and behaviours of everyone are guided by an inherent commitment to security. In other words, security should be part of the DNA of an organisation. The United Nations Security Council Resolution 2309 calls on states and organisations involved with aviation security to take all necessary steps to promote an effective security culture within aviation. This very strong direction from the United Nations makes clear that the establishment of an effective aviation security culture is a priority for every state. We in the UK CAA are working closely with ICAO, ECAC, the UK government and indeed other international partners to offer our knowledge and expertise as part of this international obligation. From a security perspective, fostering and sustaining a positive aviation security culture is becoming an increasingly important tool in protecting aviation from those who would wish to do harm. As the threats we face diversify, we must ensure that everyone in the aviation community sees security as their personal and organisational responsibility. And indeed, they have the right knowledge and confidence to play their full part. From a wider business perspective, we are set for unprecedented growth in passenger numbers over the next 20 years. And with that, an increasing expectation from passengers for an integrated, seamless experience. So it falls to us as aviation security practitioners to ensure that security is accepted as a core value rather than an onerous obligation. And our approach to security should be as a facilitator to this growth, not a barrier. The Global Aviation Security Plan sets out what ICAO, states and regulated entities should be doing to develop a positive security culture within aviation. The promotion of an ineffective security culture should be seen as critical to achieving good security outcomes. A strong security culture must be cultivated and embedded at all levels, from the top management to everyone working within each organisation. And although an embedded security culture is vital, this should be supported by a well-trained, motivated and professional security workforce.